agricultural practices. Modern agriculture is carried out in a scientific and systematic manner. For growing crops, farmers perform a series of activities over a period of time in a particular sequence. These activities are called agricultural practices. Agricultural practices can be subdivided into the following steps. Soil preparation, selection and sowing of seeds, adding manure and fertilizer, irrigation, crop protection, harvesting, storage. Soil preparation. For growing a crop, the preparation of soil is the first step. Soil is the main medium in which a plant grows. The most important task in agriculture is to ensure the availability of vital nutrients present in the soil. Secondly, the soil should be loose enough so that the roots of plants can penetrate easily. The loosened soil also helps in the growth of earthworms and microbes which help to make it fertile. Roots of plants absorb water, air and nutrients from the soil. Plowing The process of loosening and turning of the soil is known as tilling or plowing. This can be done by using a plow. The process of plowing is important because it helps in trapping air in the soil, allows the roots to reach deeper in the soil, helps the soil in retaining moisture for a longer duration, helps in mixing the nutrient-rich soil with the topsoil, helps in removing the unwanted plants known as weeds. The plow and other tools used for large-scale production of crops are known as agricultural implements. A plow is made of wood or iron and is drawn by a pair of bulls or other animals. It contains a strong triangular iron strip called plowshare. The main part is a long log of wood which is called a plow shaft. There is a handle at one end of the shaft and the other end is attached to a beam which is placed on the animal's neck. The original wooden plow has been slowly replaced by an iron plow. These days, plowing is also done by tractors. A hoe is an ancient and versatile agricultural tool used to move small amounts of soil. It is used for weed control by agitating the surface of the soil around the plants, piling soil around the base of plants, hilling, creating narrow furrows, drills and shallow trenches for planting seeds and bulbs, chopping weeds, roots and crop residues, digging and moving when harvesting root crops such as potatoes. A cultivator is a type of farm implement used for secondary tillage. It has frames with teeth which are also called shanks. The shanks pierce the soil as they are dragged through it linearly. A cultivator stirs and pulverizes the soil either before planting to aerate the soil and prepare a smooth, loose seed bed or after the crop has begun growing to kill weeds. Cultivators are designed to disturb the soil in careful patterns, sparing the crop plants but disrupting the weeds. Leveling Even in ploughed fields, there are big pieces of soil known as crumbs. It is necessary to break these crumbs with wooden or iron planks which are known as levelers and the process is known as leveling. At times, manure is added to the soil before tilling. The soil is watered after leveling and before sowing. Adding manure A young plant needs adequate amounts of nutrients for its proper growth. These are provided in the form of manure and fertilizers. Manure and fertilizers are the substances which are added to the soil to provide nutrients for a healthy growth of plants. Due to continuous growing of crops, crop cycle, the soil becomes deficient in nutrients. The process of replenishing the soil with nutrients is known as manuring. Manure is a natural substance obtained from the decomposition of plant and animal waste. Sometimes, manure is not sufficient to provide the required amounts of nutrients. 
to supply more quantity of a particular nutrient, fertilizers are used. Fertilizers are chemical substances which are rich in a few nutrients. Some common fertilizers are urea, potash and phosphate. Differences between fertilizer and manure. Fertilizer A fertilizer is a chemical compound. Fertilizer is prepared in factories. It does not provide any humus to the soil. They are very rich in plant nutrients. Manure Manure is a natural substance. Manure is prepared by the decomposition of animal and plant wastes in the fields. It provides lot of humus to the soil. They are relatively less rich in plant nutrients. Excessive use of fertilizers makes the soil less fertile and is also a source of water pollution. After growing many crops in the same field, the level of nutrients in the soil decreases. The use of manure improves the soil texture and also its water retaining capacity. Another method for replenishing the soil nutrients is crop rotation. In crop rotation, two or more crops are grown on the same land alternately. For example, after growing wheat, the soil is low on nitrogen nutrients. This can be remedied by growing peas or gram plants which replenish the soil in nitrogen nutrients. Advantages of manure Enhances the water holding capacity of the soil, makes the soil porous, improves texture of the soil, increases the number of microbes in the soil. Irrigation Water is one of the most important requirements for agriculture. It is essential for the proper growth and development of flowers, fruits and seeds. The plants absorb water and minerals and fertilizers dissolved in it through roots. The process of supplying water to the crops at different intervals is known as irrigation. The time and frequency of irrigation varies from season to season, soil to soil and crop to crop. The methods of irrigation can be broadly categorized into traditional and modern methods. The traditional methods include canal irrigation, furrow irrigation, chain pump, pulley system mode, dhekli and water wheel rehat. The water available in wells, lakes and canals are lifted up by different methods in different regions for taking it to the field. Cattle or human labor is used in these methods. These methods are very cheap but are comparatively less efficient. At some places, pumps are used for pulling water. These pumps run on diesel, biogas, electricity and solar energy. Crop Protection The undesirable plants which grow along with the crop are known as weeds. Amaranthus, wild oat, grass and bathua are examples of weeds. The removal of weeds is called weeding. These plants should be removed as they compete with the crop for air, sunlight and nutrients, hence affecting the growth of the crops. The best time for the removal of weeds is before they produce flowers and seeds. Weeds can be uprooted by hand or removed with the help of implements such as trowel, hoe or harrow. This process is time-consuming and may lead to accidental removal of desired crops. The implements used also require regular maintenance. Weeds are also controlled by using certain chemicals called weedicides, which kill only the weed plants. Examples are Delapon, 2,4-D, Metachlor, etc. The animals which damage crops are known as pests. And these can be destroyed by chemicals called pesticides. However, the disadvantages of using these chemicals are significant. Contact with them can affect the health of farmers. Traces of these poisons may remain in the crops and can be harmful to the people who consume them. Harvesting The process of cutting of crops when it is ready is known as harvesting. Harvesting can be done with hands using a sickle. 
It can also be done with the help of a machine called the harvester. In harvested crop, the green seeds are separated from the chaff by the process known as threshing. Threshing is carried out with the help of a machine called combine. The separation of grain and chaff can also be done by winnowing. Storage Freshly harvested crops have moisture. They are dried properly so that they can be stored for longer time. The crops should be safe from moisture, insects, rats and microorganisms. The crops are dried in sun and stored in jute bags or metallic bins. On a large scale, the grains are stored in silos and granaries. Food from animals Rearing animals on a large scale for food and other useful things is called animal husbandry. Meat is obtained from sheep, goat, lamb, hen, etc. Fish and other water animals such as shims, prawns, lobsters, etc. are also consumed by human. Dairy products such as milk, curd, cheese, butter, etc. are obtained from animals such as cow, buffalo, goat, camel, etc. Eggs are obtained from hen, duck, goose, etc. The practice of rearing honeybee for honey is known as